Well, one of the major players behind the scenes here at KTLA is uh, the man joining us now, our um, salty assignment manager, <laughs> Van Scott. And I say that with a lot of uh, respect and love because <laughs> this guy's the best. Yeah, and if, if you don't know um, exactly with the title, he, Vance basically sends reporters and news crews out into the field. So you work directly with sto not only news stories every day, breaking news stories. You're working a lot of times with reporters, and, and you love Stan. Stan's the man, I'll tell yeah. you. Uh, whoever said that uh, nice guys finish last uh, mm. obviously never knew Stan Chambers. Yeah. He was a, uh, a, a truly a gentleman, just uh, the kindest, nicest, mm. uh, caring soul I've ever met, uh, ever. And uh, never a negative thing to say about anybody or anyone, uh, not a mean bone in his body. And he was just so upbeat and positive all the time and always happy and I used to think you know how can a guy be this happy all the time yeah. perpetually <laughs> uh, permanently happy uh, you know doesn't he ever have a bad day but uh, Stan never had a bad day or if he did he uh, he certainly he never showed it and he just loved his job he uh, cherished KTLA loved coming to work uh, he'd show up early every morning, he'd walk into the newsroom, and he'd be just grinning, beaming, smiling, and he'd just light up the place. And that positive energy he had and enthusiasm, it was just contagious for everyone in the newsroom. You uh, worked with him for two decades, but then you said you met him at um, Kennedy's assassination, and you were a whippersnapper at the time, and, and Stan was there reporting, right? Yeah, I was a, I was a young guy <laughs> just starting out, and uh, I had uh, been sent down to the Ambassador Hotel that night. I actually worked at another television station, but that's where we first met, and that's been, gosh, 47 mm -hmm. years, um, and uh, that, that that's how we first connected. Yeah. You, you grew up in the South Bay. You, you know, you're a, you're a native of Southern sure. California, mm -hmm. so, you know, KTLA you know, was on the air when you were a little kid. Did, did you have, did you know who Stan Chambers were when you were growing up? Well, like, like most of KTLA viewers, I, I grew up watching early LA television on an old flickering black and white TV set. And I, I watched Stan cover the uh, epic early news events in Los Angeles, the uh, Baldwin Hills Dam disaster, uh, the Bel Air fire, the, uh, the Watts riots. And uh, one day my mom said, well, what do you, what do you want to do with your life? A career. And I said, well, I, someday I'd like to be Stan Chambers. Mm. Oh. And she said, well, there can never be another Stan <laughs> no, Chambers. That's so true. <laughs> and she was right about that. And I said, well, I want to be just like Stan Chambers. Mm. You want to ask him? Yeah, there, there was, was back in 99, there was a pursuit, which, you know, covering pursuits kind of started here in Los Angeles yeah. with OJ. Uh, he was on his way to cover suit one time and actually got in an accident himself. Well, yeah, you know, we all have our Stan stories. And uh, this was probably about 15 years ago, I sent him off to this uh, high-speed chase somewhere in the Inland Empire, and he and his photographer ended up rolling the camera truck mm. off a transition road on the freeway. Uh, the car flipped several times, wow. and as you can see, I mean, it was severely damaged, and uh, he and his uh, photographer were pretty uh, badly banged up. Mm. They were in the hospital for a couple of days, oh and... Uh, and he's smiling and, in the hospital, uh, of course. You know, after an ordeal like that, you know, any average person at his right. age, you know, might, might give pause to considering. Now, how old is he at this up. time? That's well, he he was about eighty, like, I yeah. think, at that wow. time. Wow. Uh, but not Stan. <laughs> yeah. He couldn't get wait wait to get back to work. And I'm telling you, within three days later, he's he back, back out on the street covering the news, and he hadn't even had the sutures taken mm. out of his forehead yet. As a, as a modern journalist like Glenn, myself, and all the folks that work here in L.A. and across the country, but it, it, if a new reporter comes in and you're explaining to them who Stan Chambers was in a, a sentence or so, how would you explain that? Gracious, mm. sensitive, tough, but compassionate. Mm. All right. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. Thanks, I know thanks. you loved him.